Hi everybody, it's Anna. All right, guys. I am blowing through my craft allowances for 2016 because I have here yet another item that I've allowed myself for the end of this year. And I am very pleased with my purchase. And I'm very excited to show you. Um, if you cannot tell already from the sticker, I ordered it from Bomb Kuchin, which is definitely one of my favorite resources for ordering for crafting items and just analog items. And lately, I have, well not lately, this is something that I've had on my list forever, and it was, as I said, on my list of things I wanted to get for this year. I'm just so excited. I just wanted to show you guys. I may not even post this video. I'm not sure yet, but it's. Uh, I just wanted to pre-film this just in case. Everything came in this box today. Shipping was incredibly fast because I ordered it Saturday on Saturday. I got the shipping notice on Monday, and it is Thursday. So, and I got it today. So everything is coming in this wonderfully eco-friendly paper kind of craft stuff. And I love that it's paper tape too. I love that the company is starting to do really eco-friendly um, packaging because I, I just, I love that. I love the aesthetic too. On the front it says, imagination will take you everywhere. I love that. And I love to reuse this. I can reuse this in my journaling, but I also just tend to give it to my gerbils because they love chewing on this kind of um, softer cardboard stuff. So that's what it is. I've got my invoice and then the business card. Oh, I think you need, Eunice um, wrote it because that looks like her handwriting. Um, and then the quote on this one is, vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. And I love that the business cards are all folded in with your invoice in that they always have a different quote on the back. It's pretty heavy duty business card. It's like a thick cardboard. I just, I love the aesthetic of everything of this company. And here we are. Everything is in here. Everything, I mean, it's just one thing. Standard and Strong, the Superior Labor Leather and Company. Leathers and Company. You take pride in craftsmanship and never skimp on the time and effort made in Japan. So how beautiful is that packaging? So I'm just gonna undo this. Can you guys guess what it is? I'm so excited to add this to my kind of traveler's notebook, everyday carry repertoire. <laughs> So how do they, oh, they said so to down a little bit. I thought this was going to be a little bit heavier, so I'm actually quite happy to know that it's a lot lighter than it is, because I will be carrying this everywhere with me. <gasps> how pretty. Oh, is it, is this the color that I ordered? I thought I'd ordered the, the lighter colored one. Is this the, is this the correct color? I ordered the light camel color. Let me check my invoice. Cause I'm pretty sure I picked out the light camel color. Although this one is beautiful. So Oh, maybe it's just relabeled differently. Light brown camel. Okay, maybe this is the light brown. Oh, and Eunice did um, sign my invoice. So that's really cool. You know what? That's all right. I think it looked a lot lighter in the, um, in the photo, but it's got this beautiful brass hardware. Oh, it's so light. Oh, I'm so glad. So I was really worried it was going to be too heavy and I didn't want to carry it everywhere. And then, oh, it's just, oh, it's so great. It's just wonderfully made. It's made in Japan. It's even got the stamp on there and it's got the label right here. And I am just so happy with this pen roll. 
Oh, it smells lovely if you're into the leather smell. Um, and then it's got the Superior Labor business card right there. I decided to splurge on it just because it was something that I really needed to partly store my fountain pens in. I didn't want to have, say, something like this get scratched up whenever I took it somewhere. And I usually like to have a few other tools with me. Um, and so it was really important for me to not have my fountain pen scratched in the same pouch with my scissors. Because I carry scissors with me all the time when I go, like, say, to a cafe and I want to go just sit there and craft for um, an afternoon. So it was really on my radar to find a really good pen roll. And so you're able to just kind of roll it up if you wanted to. Kind of got that squeak because it's so new. And then you can just buckle everything up this way. And I'm sure after with use, you'll kind of lose that squeaking. And you can adjust the top of this um, with, you know, the height of your pens and pencils and tools. So, oh, I am so, I'm so looking forward to using this. I was really hoping I was going to get it before the weekend so I can take it with me and start using it because I really want to just kind of age it and just get it really supple. So I just wanted to come on here and share with you my latest purchase and it goes very well with my camo, I think. It's not exactly the same tone. It's actually coming off a little bit more red in the camera but I promise you it's more of a nice toffee caramel color and I think it'll complement my traveler's notebook very well. So if you guys are interested in any sort of setup where you want to see what I carry with me in this pouch, let me know in the comment section. I would definitely be happy to show you what I carry because I've kind of got things set aside for it because I'm so excited to get this. Um, I will link it below um, where to find this on the Bomb Kuchen site if you guys are interested in it or you're just curious and you just want to look at the beautiful photos on that website. I honestly just, I stalk that blog every, every week just because I just love um, the photography on there. And um, I just wanted to share with you my new favorite item. Oh, I'm so excited to start using it. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hope you guys are just as excited as I am. <laughs> oh, let me know if you guys have your own pen rolls. I, for the longest time, re was researching for a good one and I finally decided on the Superior Labor one just because of all the great uh, reviews that I'd seen on it. Um, but I know there were plenty of different versions on Etsy shops. So if you guys have photos of your pen rolls and how you've got them set up and what you carry in them, please share them with me if you just want to tag me on Instagram or something because I, now that I have this, I just want to see people's pen rolls and what you guys are carrying in them or your pencil cases. I just, I love seeing what people carry. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to go get this set up and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.